Welcome back to Brodo City Tech. I'm Hank. We are out here in the shop today. I went and dropped by my brother's house to get his welder, a little bit of welding gear, so that we could go ahead and finish prepping this trailer before we actually assemble anything on the camper itself. So it's just a small little welder. Flip the camera around here. Titanium, I believe it's probably like a uh, Harbor Freight thing. Yeah, there we go, Chicago Electric, so yeah. But should be enough to at least move these supports here. Just gotta move those. And uh, so we'll get this cut. We're gonna get this cut on the lines and weld those supports where we need them. And then we will move on. So let's get the grinding wheel out and rock. So my thought is I'm not going to bore the viewers with a lot of grinding on my part. So I'm just going to turn the camera off and I'm going to focus on getting this all cut out of the way and then I'll come back and show you all the uh, finished product after I get it ground down and then we're going to spray it with some paint. Uh, I will show some of the welding. I suck at welding probably, I haven't done it in years but anyways I'm going to turn the camera off for now and just rock and roll. Okay, well I got that off, and it wasn't too bad, I just got to clean it up now. So you can see, got that gap now, where the door will be. The only thing I have to do now is grind this off so I can take these pieces off and reuse those and shift them over. So I'm going to work on that, and then show you where... We're gonna place them. We're back out in the shop. Got my helmet on here. Got my little welder. I'm gonna show y'all this first one I did with some practice. It's not pretty, but luckily I can grind it down and then paint it and make it pretty. I am no welder. I really have no idea what I'm doing. But here is the first support welded in. And so what I ended up doing was cutting a little, I mean the same angle as my angle line here, you can see it right here, I ended up cutting that off just to make it look a little bit better instead of having that sharp corner and then I got this welded, this one actually turned out pretty good right here I mean it's got some dust and stuff on it, but that one actually turned out a fairly good weld, this one was pretty good still uh, trying to finesse some of this wire speed and the voltage but I'm going to set up this one here so that y'all can kind of see how this thing is working. This little bitty flux welder from Harbor, Harbor Freight is actually pretty dang sweet. And uh, I might have to add that to my arsenal of tools then. So we'll see. If I can get a lot of views on this thing, then uh, I can start buying some more tools.
So like I said, not pretty, but I can grind it down and paint it because I know I don't have this quite set right. And I'm probably going to get some comments. Oh, you need to turn voltage up or down or wire speed up down, which I'm still constantly messing with. Or maybe I didn't get it ground down smooth enough. But anyways, we're going to do this same thing for the other side. And then I'll get it ground down and smoothed out. And then we can throw some paint on it. I think it's going to look sweet. So I got everything welded and ground down. I can't say this enough, but it's not perfect. It's going to look a hell of a lot better, but it's not perfect. I'm not a great welder. I don't even know. Could have spent some time on the instructions maybe, but I do believe I got it. And these aren't super important to uh, a structural, structural integrity of the trailer. So if this was actually welding frame, I would get this done by a professional. But this is really, it does add strength, but it's not as important as the frame. And you don't necessarily even need it. I just, this was the quickest, easiest way for me to get access to where the doors are. So anyways, after that, I blew off the trailer with my leaf blower and I sanded down a couple little spots behind the lights and stuff that I took off that I know are gonna be covered up anyways. But we're gonna give this just a quick spray of some uh, Fusion all-in-one paint and primer. I did gloss black. Normally I would do flat maybe or semi-gloss, but I know that Phylon's gonna be pretty shiny. So I was like, hell, let's just uh, do all gloss. You don't see gloss all that much anymore, it seems these days. So let's just give it a shot. I do believe we are painted. It looks pretty good. Obviously, it's not completely perfect. This trailer's gonna be used a lot, and I could have ground down everything for a smooth surface before I repainted it, but I just didn't really see the point. I'll give it a nice clean coat to cover up all the bare spots and just to give us that gloss finish. But as far as like getting it 100% perfect, that was just going to require like full sandblasting of the fenders and everything else. But I bet you, especially on camera, it'll look really nice. We got our cutouts. You can see over there. And obviously right here. And that's where the doors will go. Everything's going to dry out here. And so the worst spots are obviously like right here on the front of the fender where a bunch of rocks have been hitting it and chipping it. I could have ground that down, but then I would have had to get all these hard to reach places. I don't know. It just seems like that was going to be a lot of unnecessary work for something that really just needs to look good. Probably that, what is that 50 foot rule or whatever. But anywho, there is our trailer. That should be everything except for I have to wire up the new lights. Now what I'm going to do, is run. I have some PVC I believe that I can put underneath the trailer and run my trailer wiring through. That is the last thing I need to do to this thing before we can start assembling the trailer. So, I believe...